convey weightlessness and depict an underwater dance between shadow and light. They're the work of artist Sarah Harvey. Here, she's warming up for a photo shoot. Yes, she's the artist and she's the model as well. The reason why I'm, I'm doing these is to create images which um, allow the figure to be broken up and create interesting abstract images for my paintings, which um, are also very figurative at the same time. Her friend Rachel Howarth helps prepare for the shoot here at an old swimming pool in North London. More often than not, Sarah Harvey is the star of her paintings. And even though she's generally reluctant to take a plunge, only she knows which shots she would like to paint back in the studio. So she gives instructions on which takes she wants. I like it when the foot is really big. Later, they'll form the building blocks for her artworks. So when I approach uh, the water, I obviously look at where the sun is in the direction of the sun. I, you know, try and get a bit of the reflection into the, into the frame, if I can, um, along with some of the dark sort of contrast too, which makes the uh, figure underwater look even more interesting. The artist has her studio in East London. She starts by placing one photograph over another to create a kind of collage. She learned her trade at the renowned Chelsea School of Art and graduated with an art degree from Newcastle University in 2004. Her technique involves applying several layers of paint and the results are eerily realistic. She recreates the reflections on the surface of the water with a brush dipped in turpentine. But she doesn't want to do a perfect copy of the photos. In each photograph, I'll, um, I'll find something that interests me that automatically takes my eye to it. And in this case, it would probably be this panel along here with the light and then the dark and then the light against the dark. And I would concentrate on that, this band across here. Um, and leave the, you know, the rest of the painting very much more gestural. Even she has difficulty defining her style, but describes it as a mix between cubism and realism. She came up with the idea during a trip to Italy eight years ago. Since then, Sarah Harvey's work has featured in exhibitions throughout the world. At an exhibition in Singapore, for example, her paintings sell for up to 14,000 euros. The next painting that I'm starting actually is this one here. I've actually done a few sketches of it already um, and as soon as I saw it I knew it was just, I just had to paint it. I mean, I take thousands and thousands of images and um, sometimes you just know when you see a good image. When back home, she likes to walk her dog by the lake. But even these moments offer no escape from art. They're actually an important part of her work. I don't paint the dog as such, but I paint the water around her in some of the paintings that, um, where, the, where the water isn't quite right in the imagery that I already have. So if I need something specific, I'll try and get uh, capture that here and incorporate that within my paintings, yeah. Sarah Harvey follows her intuition. That's the key to her success and the key to the uncanny clarity of her paintings.